Hey there, I am Megan Bell Smith, and I'm gonna tell you about the gift that you just received from someone. Um, you probably either got the Enviro cloth or you got the travel pack of Enviros, and there are four small ones of those. These are a Norwex product, and you probably have never heard of Norwex before, you may have, um, but these are pretty smart cloths. Um, someone paid a pretty good amount of money for these. Most of these are $15 to $22. So this is not just a throwaway cloth. This is not a washcloth, okay? So it does require a little bit of, of special care, but it's gonna do so much more than what you're used to with the normal cloth. Um, so I taught school for five years, and I would have loved to have had these in my classroom. I taught middle school, sixth and seventh grade for five years, and I would have loved to have had these instead of disinfecting wipes because they do save you time, they do save you money, and you're not using any chemicals, okay? And they do a really good job. So I love the Enviro cloth. You're going to use it to clean your desks, to clean your door handles. Use it to take permanent marker off of your whiteboards when you have that student who writes on there. You may not have been given this to use in your classroom. You may be using it at home. So all the things that I'm saying apply on your home surfaces as well. Um, but if you were given this for your classroom, it does have a lot of great qualities. Um, there is silver in this cloth. Silver is naturally antibacterial. Bacteria and viruses cannot survive in the presence of silver. So this cloth will purify itself which is awesome. It means you don't have to wash it as often, which is another reason that makes it amazing for a classroom setting, okay? So you're just gonna use it with water. All I've done with this cloth is wet it with water. Um, and you can see this is a well-loved cloth. It has stains on it. It's still gonna disinfect raw chicken. I'm gonna show you. Um, I'm gonna take raw chicken right here, and I'm just gonna take it, and I'm gonna rub it right onto my countertop. And then I'm gonna set it back down. I'm gonna take my damp Enviro cloth, and I'm just gonna give it a quick swipe of the surface, okay? Then I'm gonna take a protein tester swab. This is what they use to check for cleanliness in restaurants. You can see we're looking for colors here. Green means clean, purple means that it detected protein. Protein is actually smaller in size than bacteria. So if it will detect protein, it would certainly show us if there was any viruses or bacteria present, which is what we're trying to kill in a classroom or in a home setting anyway. I'm gonna take this and just swab it over that area where I just had that chicken. Stick it in here, I'm gonna break the seal. And you can see that it turned green, okay? Remember we said green means clean. That means that it did not detect any bacteria or viruses on that surface, okay? Um, that's because this cloth is really, really absorbent. It's got fibers in it that are one two hundredth of a human hair. Most standard microfibers are only one sixth of a human hair. So when we're talking fibers that are that tiny, it's gonna pick up 99.9% .9 of what's on your surface. Okay, just to show you that this test is not bogus, I'm gonna take this and rub it straight onto the chicken. Get some of that chicken juice on there. Stick it back into my tester swab. Give it a quick shake. And now we see that it is indeed purple. So had there actually been um, chicken left on the surface, it would have detected it in my test. You ever read the instructions on the, on the wipes? Um, it's pretty eye-opening. I hadn't either. I use them all the time in my classroom. Um, but actually, it's pretty, it's pretty eye-opening. You're supposed to use enough wipes for the treated surface to remain visibly wet for four minutes. Some brands say seven minutes, okay? I'd never done that. I did a quick swipe and I was done. It goes on to say that you also are supposed to do a water rinse on those wipes, okay? These work great. They do the job. You need to read the instructions and use them properly. If you still wanna keep using them, that's fine, okay? If you still are just, you love your Clorox wipes, I get it. But if you're not gonna use these, don't just throw this out. Give this to somebody with the instructions and let them use it because it is a powerful tool and it's going to do a great, great job on your surfaces. Okay. Care instructions. You just want to make sure you wash it with something that's like a free and clear detergent that's biodegradable. The only reason that is is because you don't want to coat over the silver in the cloth. If the silver gets coated over, it can't do its job. Okay. So that's the main rule. No bleach, no fabric softener, no dryer sheets. Same reason. The silver has to be able to do its job. You're really only gonna have to launder this probably every seven to 10 days or so, maybe longer if you do really good rinses after you use this. I wiped up that chicken with this. It's locked deep within the cloth. What I wanna do now is use hot water to rinse it out. So at the end of the day in your classroom um, or at home, when you're done using it, run it under hot water, let it get really hot, wring it out several times, get as much of that chicken out as you can or that, those, that flu virus or whatever was in your classroom. Wring it out really, really well, get out as much water as possible, and then hang it by its tag to dry. 
All of our cloths have the tags, even the little ones, if you've got the little ones. Hang it by its tag to dry. When, as this is drying, the silver in the cloth is gonna go to work and it's gonna self-purify. So you're gonna come back the next day to use it. You can smell it, it's still gonna smell fresh. No mildew. Remember, bacteria and viruses cannot survive in the presence of silver. It's gonna take care of it. I'm excited for you to try this out. I know you probably were given this cloth maybe by a student's parent or maybe a friend of yours if they gave it to you for your home. They probably have an Orwex consultant for you to use. So if you're interested in learning more, contact whoever gave it to you and find out who their consultant is and you need to use their consultant. If you do not have a consultant, you're welcome to contact me. Uh, my email is smartergreenerclean at yahoo.com um, or you can search for my group on Facebook. It's Megan's Smarter Greener Clean. I would love to talk to you more about it and help you know how to use these properly. Thank you so much and have a good day and happy school year. Happy cleaning.